beautiful welcome back to my channel it's a girl on uncut yet this is um sunday morning and i want to do my baby for millet pop um this is like a highly requested video yes not on my channel but i've been asked more often how do i prepare my baby's um pop yes my baby is winning now though he's about um 12 months but we are winning we are taking pop we're taking cereal and other things and this millet um, pap is very very healthy but I said since one or two has asked me about it why why don't I and I show um, a video of how I prepare this I also know it will help the person that asked me and um, it will help those that asked me and several those who are interested actually this millet seed is not is more health beneficial than um, maize um, pap you could um, google, google is your friend so without further ado, let's drive down into the video. So guys, as we proceed, you could see here on the video, you have a millet seed. Yes, guys, this is a millet seed. Um, funny enough, um, if you're living in diaspora, this millet seed, you can see it in any Arab shop. I actually placed it this way so you could see the video. You could see the packet um, vividly. Yes, this is um, the name in whatever the country or that imported it i don't know but this is how this millet seed looks it's usually very tiny very very tiny i bring it close so you see sorry guys if you hear my child's um, voice on the background i bring it very close so you could see it very clearly the seeds are usually very very tiny very very tiny so this is what we're going to be using for this millet pap guys millet pap yes so the next thing is to open this up and put it into a bowl you have to get a very big bowl that can serve you after putting it into a bowl you add in water inside it you add in water inside it yes me i prefer to um put this water and um change the water each day for like three days before i grind it reason for me is that i think it's safe for my blender and I think it's easier for me instead of me having to blend 10 to 6 times I might rather blend for just 2 times because the seed are already soft so I usually love to soak for 3 days and blend soaking it for 3 days doesn't mean you're going to leave it like that it's going to smell if you don't wash it each morning and change the water it's going to smell and once it smells it can you know sour and you don't want it to sour remember this is for your baby so what i just do is to put it into this bowl then i keep it and change the water every day for three days but if, th if you think your blender is strong enough or if you think you're in nigeria where you could go and blend it if you think your blender is um, strong enough you can blend it right away but me i prefer to soak so this is the first night soaking and i'm changing the water in the morning the next day you can see the um the foam on top that is the reason why you change the water every morning if you leave it that way it's going to sour so i'm changing the water because of the foams that came up on it is a little bit smelly but the smell is not bad so i am changing the water yes i change the water i rinse um for like three times change the water till it's purely clean then i add water again and keep so this is the day two of it you could see it's very foamy on top i'm changing the water again like i told you guys the process here is just to make the millet to be soft enough for me to blend it twice instead of having to blend it six to seven times like i said just to blend it twice or uh, so and you know of course very soft before i can save it so this is the reason i like to soak, soak it but like i said if you if you think your blender is strong enough my blender is strong strong enough yes but i still prefer to do it this way because i feel it's safer so the next thing is to also wash it like this and take out the water from it and put in enough water again rinse it rinse it till this foam you're not seeing it anymore till the smell you can't perceive it um that strongly anymore this is the way you continue to wash it and wash it if you buy a bigger bath for yourself a bigger bowl it's good for you it depends on the size you're doing yes the size of the millets you're making tells you the size of the bowl you're going to use for this soaking so this is the third day as well i soaked it as well i'm rinsing the water like i said the same process day three i'm rinsing the water making it clean and i'm st storing it again as you can see on the picture so guys this part is very important if you look very closely you will see this 
saving clothes this saving clothes actually i don't know if you can get it in the country where you are i don't know if you can get it but when my mom was coming for after um childbirth we call it on mungo in my dialect she brought it for me so but if you can get it wherever you are it's very good because you don't when you're when you're saving it you just need only the water to come out okay. not the chaff so you blend it after blending it i i didn't have to um show you guys uh, what happened in the other side but it's basically washing the the millet of setting my blender and i'm scooping and i'm putting into the blender the amount the blender can take for each blend so i'm gonna put it and i'm just gonna blend um it right away and um that is just basically it remember i said um what i was saying about that cloth i don't know if you, if you don't get that cloth where you are i don't know possibly and that cloth that can serve maybe um a cutting maybe a cutting cloth can serve as a sieve or maybe you can just save this my picture or save whatever save it then go to google and ask google what you can use and sieve your millet um seed or maize seed maybe you can see an alternative or you can see this particular one so right now i am blending it you can see as soon as i start blending it it's still giving me what's almost what i want this is because i already soaked it it's already soft to an extent so it's giving me what i want just about immediately but without that i'm still gonna blend and i'm still gonna blend like i think i blend them um, three times i think i blended three times in this um video i think it's three times i blended this i think i blended about three times so guys as i'm blending i'm checking um the consistency i'm checking how soft it is at this stage it's soft but it's still uh, a little bit seedy if you blend very well you save enough pap if you don't blend very well most of the pap will go so here it is soft enough and i'm sure i'm gonna blend much pap so you're going to repeat this process you're going to repeat this process till you blend all the millet seed that you have in your bowl you're going to repeat this process and with that i will start to prepare my my sieving bowl this is the cloth the sieving cloth like i showed you guys i'm just going to place it on it sorry guys possibly if you're hearing too much of noise on the background i can't help you because my kids are here obviously and there's no better time to do this video so that is just it so like i was saying i have to place i have to tie this in my bow yes i have to tie it in the bow that i am using yes i have to tie it there i have to tie it very very tightly very tightly as you can see me doing i'm tying it very very tightly on it reason being when i am saving when i am saving the process which you're about to see it doesn't go um inside and you um, know taking water in on top of the um, clothes and um making um thereby making it very stressful so this is the pap bag this is the millet pap bag of which you're gonna ask online or so just try to google and get whichever that is close closer to your um place or whichever that is alternative to you just pay this is time to pay attention just pay attention guys you could see how the cloth looks and i'll show you later the use of that cloth towards the end of this video okay. so now this is the blended millet i am putting it into this very bowl and i will start to stir guys this takes um a time it takes time if i might say but it's something you're doing wholeheartedly because this is what your child is going to take right so you're doing it with all your heart right so let's just not talk about the time it's going to take and every other thing let's talk about the good result it's going to give us yes so i'm putting in water this water is going to help me to stir help me to sieve help me to you know do this process that you're seeing me doing right now i don't know the better english to use for it but thank god it's practical you're seeing what i'm doing so do as i am doing right so okay i'm doing this guys everywhere is going to be messy everywhere is going to be messy so if you're allergic to death at this point just you know chill of course when you're done you clean out everywhere so don't be irritated or disgusted or feeling that the stain of the pap is all over the kitchen or all over the place you're using yes you could just take one angle of your kitchen and just do this stuff so after that section you're saying so this is the chaps i was telling you about if you blend your seed very well you wouldn't get much of that chaff that chaff is like your pap so you have to blend well so you don't waste the pap so i'm going to do the process again 
this is very clear here enough because um, i had to place my camera somewhere a little bit further so you could see what i'm doing so i am putting that pap i am putting the water i am turning it i'm going to do that process till the whole pap goes off from it and this chaff is what is remaining when you're adding this water to to you know to stir around this um millet um, um grinded um seed into this place please don't add too much water just small water accordingly is going to just take it away and separate it from the shaft and the pap so this i am opening now this is the pap this is the pap itself this is the pap itself this is what i'm going to pour into this bag this bag have you seen the usefulness of it i thought i was going to tell you towards the end of this video this bag is what i'm going to pour this water into this water you're seeing i'm pouring here is the pap guys don't take it for granted don't waste it don't take it for granted so i'm putting it to this bag i don't know alternative for, for this bag I, I swear but i believe if you google it you're gonna see alternative for it yes just this bag is what separates the pap and the water god this is just you know the process of this thing is just wonderful if i begin to explain it right I put it to this bag this bag is going to separate the water and that pap your child is going to take that pop your child is going to take, this is the bag that will do the magic. The other a cloth has done its magic. It, it separated the, the grinded seed, the shaft from the pop. That's what that cloth did. It separated the shaft from the pop, right? You can see the shaft then. And this bag is going to separate the pop and water. That water you saw me point to this bag. This is where I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it this way. And I'm just going to bring a sieve right now. And put this bag into the sieve. The reason why I'm putting this bag into the sieve is that if I put it into that bowl, the water separation will just go into this bowl. You can see the water there and store. So there is no gain result, end result at it. So but when you put it into the sieve, when the separating the, if it, when it's separating the pap from the water, the water is pouring into the, you know, is escaping, is passing through the um, sieve or whatever bas or basket, whatever one is that is available for you, but don't put it into a bowl because it wouldn't separate the water from the pap put it into a basket or into this sieve something that has hole so it separates the water do you understand so voila this is what it looks like i've tied it up a little bit everywhere is looking bit a little bit shiny and clean right as you can see so that's why i said if you're allergic to that just calm down towards the end of the process you tidy up so this is what it looks like this is what the bag looks like my sieve is into the is inside that inside that um wash um place okay so i'm sorry guys i want to check um the bell you could hear it yeah bam back so this is it guys so um, this is the bag i zoomed in the camera so you could see what the bag looks like if i, I don't know what to call this bag but by the time i upload this video i will ask my mom or i'll ask um somebody what to call it or something like that i don't know so this is it this is the next day guys this is the next day you could see the bag used to be swollen but now it's a bit tender because most of the water has escaped so what i just did was just to squeeze in the bag again leave it again that way till the next day so probably i just left it for two nights so the water can escape entirely and this table and this pap here is what you can see if the water has escaped entirely and what is just remaining is just the pap so this is why the size is this way so the bloated bag you are seeing water was also adding to the bloatness water was also adding to the size but now you can see how limit it is this is just only the pap that is inside the bag so i'm just gonna bring it out right now so guys can't you just see wow wow guys so this is just the pop you're seeing isn't that amazing isn't that amazing this is your baby food oh so beautiful so sleek so sleek and together so guys this bag you're seeing is the magic wonder mm. i think actually the two things are the magic mm. wonder this is the magic wonder and the saving clothes is the magic wonder because it separates the millet you blended it separates the chaff and the pap then this bag separates the water and the pap i don't know how to explain it the saving i just don't know how to explain it <laughs> but it just the saving clothes separates the the blended um millet um from the chaff right yeah then the bag separates the pop and the water so guys this is that pop oh my god if I, you, you can imagine how this smells like this smells very sweet like this smells like it's milk already when you make this pop and add milk for your baby 
guys just do it come back and tell me like if you see the way your baby's body is going to be shining the way your baby's body is going to be glowing because your baby is basically getting all the nutrients he or she needs from this particular piece you're seeing you could google the benefits of this millet and you'll be amazed once you google it trust me you will prefer to give your child this than to give your child um maize um pap or you know any other thing that you feel like is on, not healthy because this is very much healthy so guys i am tying this way it's preferably it's interesting or to tie it in portions yes tie it in portion or maybe the way you're going to be bringing it out from the freezer because you're going to be storing this into the freezer and just be bringing it out um, and be taking the portion you need for your little one make it put into the flax or make daily so preferably inside the fridge but some locally they don't put into the fridge they just um put a bowl then uh, they just leave the pap you know that's um pap you saw they just put it into a bowl press it in and add a little water that just will cover the top and each morning they just bring out the quantity they want remove the water and add another water on top on top of the pap just that water there is just to protect it but you just have to be changing it every morning and collect the pap you want to use for your little one then put another water inside that's how but make sure you don't leave that water make sure you don't leave that water because it's going to sour so thank you guys for watching and hope you try it and give me your feedback bye